Welcome everybody to episode 401 of our Let's Play. 401, holy crap. This is the new season. This is considered season five. This is crazy. And this is going to be one of the most productive seasons in our whole Let's Play. The reason I say that is because we're not messing around anymore. We're not gonna have these lackluster episodes. Each episode is gonna be full of work. And that is starting today. Right now, I'm cleaning up around here. I got rid of this tent here. Got rid of all these boxes. I'm gonna go clean up a few things around our world, get a little bit organized, and we're gonna start on some fun stuff. Okay, it definitely took some time, but I got rid of every chest in the hallways in this whole lab, and it took a long time. I even cleaned out the maintenance closets, which means taking out all the dirt, stone, cobble, and some other blocks. Left all the other blocks in there, though, and put them in my warehouse. Now, I want to build a new room in the lab, and it's probably in the title of this video, and I wanna put it right here. We're going to build an explosion testing chamber where we can drop TNT on certain objects and test the explosive capabilities of them. So this is gonna take a bit. I'm gonna have a lot of different unique, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. With like having a glass viewing area, it might get blown up. I'm gonna to have to be creative with this. Bob, what a surprise for you to show up. Do you have any building material for the lab? Oh my God, you do. Oh my God, you do. Come here, Bob. Come here, Bobby boy. No, I don't want your stupid cactus. Give me that. Five. Six. Bob, come on. Get real. Look at this lab. What am I gonna do with five glowstones? <laughs> hey, you should come by the mansion sometime. You should do it. It'll be fine. Okay, so in this facility, we are going to have something set up like this. It's about to be the size of the room. We're going to put our subject or our materials down here. We're going to have a dispenser releasing TNT. Um, now my question is, is how much does obsidian hold up to TNT? Now, is that completely blast resistance? Okay, that is great news. I thought on occasion it might blow up. I guess not. All right, great, that's great news because I thought if it did blow up at any point, we would have to convert to netherite blocks, which would be a waste, but it would be kind of cool to get like a little, maybe like a nine by nine section of netherite blocks. All right, so now I need to build up the sides and see how big of a room I need. All right, so the highest blast resistant block in the game is obviously bedrock at 18 million, but the next is obsidian, the anvil, and the enchantment table at 6,000, so. Obviously, we need to go with this. Is this big enough? Will it blow up any of these walls? Yes. All right, so now it's 13 by 13. All right, that's about 10 explosions. I think this will be good, but I'm probably just going to go about 15 by 15 just to be safe. Hey, he's still in there. Well, he's still trying to get to those fish. What was that? Keeper. What should his name be? Or her? Let me know. Hey, you can see me. All right, I got some levels here. I should be smart and go ahead and repair a level 33 item. I don't have any more. Oh, here we go. What's that? Slime Silky. How old is this? This is pretty old. You know what? We're going to give it its final life, finally, because I... This is really old to the point where I just didn't ever want to repair it because it was like efficiency three and I didn't really want to use it. I think it's on his last legs here, so. Oh my God. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> it sounds like just a like, creeper exploded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I should use that opportunity to get skulls. Nope, we're on a mission. I can't, don't get distracted. Oh, it's not that old. Okay. Let me get a tool that takes 33 levels to repair. I need to start Okay, pointy stick, lab builder 1.0. That's 
I want that. That's 33, right? Yep. Alright, I need some obsidian. Ow. Gotta suit up. It's been a bit since I've brought this uniform out. By the way, sorry that the world download wasn't working for a little while. Uh, it, I always seem to have a problem with it when that happens. Obviously, that's what a problem is. <laughs> I don't know why it's not as simple as it should be. I usually do this. I click this button, then go all the way down, and then I hit export world, and it creates a .mc world file. And then normally, you could put that up for download. I've seen people do it, and then they can just download it right there and then play the world. But obviously that doesn't work for me some, for some reason. It just makes it zero bytes size. And then I tried zip filing it, and then that didn't even work either. It's way more complicated than it should be. Anyway, we're down here. I think I'm going to turn this place not into an emerald mine, but just the lab mine. Because there's many times where I need to come down and get resources. And, well, I have to run all the way back to the house. So, uh, we're probably going to do that here. I need some obsidian. All right, y'all, the place is finished besides the door. We'll get the, actually, I'm just gonna do the door after this. No more slacking, no more slacking. I just get stuff done now. <laughs> this is a different slime. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I got the big chamber here. We got the dispenser up top. We got some lights. Even added an option for natural light to come in because sometimes, well, as you saw, it's pretty dark in there. But I wanted to have full blocks all around. Um, we can close those in case it's raining. And then of course we have the TNT button that I'm gonna test right now and hopefully it doesn't blow a hole I think this room is big enough. <laughs> Watch me have to redesign the whole thing. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, it's gonna land in the same general area every time, so I think we are solid on that. Great. Now, well, before we... I need to finish this and the door. And then we can start experimenting. You right there, buddy? Looks kind of painful. Oh my god, what the? <laughs> All right, so I've been working on the duct work for this place. I need to add some areas over here. I need to also add some different pipings that cross the ceiling here, kind of like I have all over here, just to make it look more alive, things going on. Um, but right now, yeah, I didn't finish the door. I've built three different three by three piston doors here, and I'm trying to do a very simple one with a hole in the middle, but I, I can't for the life of me figure out one. I used observers like I used to, and things are just not firing off correctly, and I'm starting to assume it might be a bug in the beta, but that's probably not true. I probably just messed something up. But anyway, I'm past that now. I got this room somewhat finished, the design. I wanna go ahead and do our first experiment, so let's get started. Mm, Mr. Dr. Professor Dallas is entering the chamber. He is placing down the first subject. The first test will be an offset armor stand of full diamond armor that has not taken any damage. Approximately one, two, three, four blocks away. Close the hatches, let it rip. So the item frame was completely destroyed. My question is, does it hurt the armor? It does not, wow. Next will be a direct hit. TNT will land right on top. I'm assuming it will do the same thing, but there's only one way to find out. Wow, that is interesting, actually. All right, good to know. We're going to do all kinds of crazy tests in here, building things, testing out all kinds of different blocks in this game. Um, it'll just be a fun little chamber to test out the explosives in Minecraft. Alright, so I added the air ducts all the way through here. Got to finish that top part. And then I also made it come right here. So it looks like it's going into the warehouse. Oh man, it is. Oh god, it is dark in here. Oh gosh. Whoa. <laughs> so I'm going to finish these up. And there's also a section over by the beginning part of the lab where I didn't really finish these either. Whoa, whoa. What is it? Oh, I went too far. I'm getting lost in my own air ducts here. 
But before we work on that, I don't even know how, oh, I think I was going to connect it to the, ow, that somehow. Before we continue that though, I like these two smoke stacks here, but I feel like I've always, every time I walk in front of my lab, I always tell myself I want a third one behind it, like right here, but taller than both of those. Well, so I'm going to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm happy now. I just made it a couple more blocks taller. I just wanted, I felt like I always needed a third one back there. It just looks nice. Only the smoke from campfires could be seen from a large distance, like Java, but I got a feeling they'll never add that. Now, I was looking at these parts of my duct system. Okay, so we did start over here. Now what I didn't know what to do was where to bring it over this way. Okay, so I can definitely bring what, what's above these? Okay, that. Yeah, so I can get rid of these to make it go over. But I Oh, does it line up to that? Of course it does, yeah. Oh hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, I guess I can create some sort of hole right here to make it look like it's pouring into there. Yeah, I think that'll look fine there. Doesn't get in the way of the view. I'll probably do the same thing over there. And of course, right there. Look how much my lab is changing from all this. Okay, it's a perspective right here. Not much, I just added pipes there. <laughs> Wait, why is that one? See the smokestack I just added then? Oh, I have hay bales under the two front ones, not under that one. Okay. What about over here? Anything? Oh, yeah. Ah, what a great day of working on the lab. Ah, oh, we finished a whole room. That is new for us. Oh, that breaks instantly. That is weird. What is this? What's it called? Unknown. <laughs> I like how they just, it stays in the game. What should we do with this? This, by the way, what used to be a copper block. I think it was like copper slabs or like some sort of I don't know, they changed something with copper, so now it's in my office, I'm studying it. I'm studying a dirt block that has grass written in it. Update. <laughs> you know, there's one thing I never checked after all of our book and quills messed up. Why is that gone? Interesting. And that is, where'd I put it? Oh, it's upstairs, I believe. All those comic, okay, I think I turned them into books, so hopefully they survived? Yes. Oh. What are all the... I'm so confused on why I did it like this. Oh, these are like when I used to just do one book an episode, and then I started realizing this is a waste. We have 50 pages. Yeah, though, oh, dang it. Here it is right here. I took all those comments off of the comment wall down there to save up on space in my world with all those signs, and I put them in a book, and now they're all gone, so we lost a lot of OG comments. Anyway, I was looking at this one. This is our current one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign this one here. All right, so there goes that comment question book. What have a random episode 222? This is just out of nowhere. Crafting screen, what? Crafting screen dot tab dot none. Can you do another series besides your last episode? If you were, oh. Okay, y'all, uh, I missed last episode, but it was world tour, so. I guess that's a good excuse, but it came from Artbags1001. What's a new project you're currently thinking about? I'm actually going to Uno reverse this and ask you guys, what are you guys, I guess, thinking about? Or rather, what do you want to see me do in this season? I mean, I have many ideas of my own, but I want some feedback. I want to know what you guys really want to see. What about part of the lab? What do you want to see here new? Like. I got some big plans for this. I want to make like a rocket. I want to make this place starting to look like maybe a city skyline. I want to put like build some little skyscrapers around it. Or just something entirely new altogether, like that kingdom project. Because our minds all work different. If you have any ideas, just go ahead and comment them. Even you, the person that doesn't really comment that much. Just give it a shot. And today's comment question today comes from Lon Pydon. Lon Pydon. Do you think you're ever going to do multiplayer like Hypixel? That is probably a no, but this question reminded me of Hytale, and because, well, the Hypixel server creators are the ones making Hytale. That's the only type of multiplayer I think I'll do when it comes to these types of games. 
I mean, I think I might be starting up Slime Swine again soon. <laughs> because I loved that series. It was really fun. But what's got my mind on Hytale is that I looked into their latest post. Did I already tell you guys this? I don't think I did. They finally told us an estimated release date. And it's not good. This is not verbatim, but I remember them saying they will not release it any earlier than 2023. And it can go well past that. <laughs> so that means we will definitely not see the game before 2023. And there's a possibility that it might come out way past that, like 2024, 2025. That was just heart-wrenching news. Honestly, I thought it was getting close to the point where they could throw out a beta and start letting people test it. But apparently, they're redesigning the whole engine so people on mobile, console, and PC can all play together. Um... I guess that's a priority. Um, they're doing that to maximize their profits, I'm sure. And, well, it, it just sucks that we're going to have to wait that long now. I'll probably forget about it, and then <laughs> in 2025, it'll come out. It's going to be like Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was announced in 2012 and came out in 2020. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching today's episode, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.